Hi, my name is Bailey. I am a senior at Lincoln Southeast. Ignite! And this poem is called Growth. I'm walking down the street. The singing wind begins to numb my face as I find myself enveloped in a sea of people who are all lost in their own routines and their own worlds. Their conversations fade in and out as they buzz by, and it's weird to think about how I may never see the lady with the red polka dot skirt and the shaved head or the man with the leopard pants and the blue dreads ever again. I walk down the street every morning, always feeling a little lost, but now I feel beautifully insignificant because I, for once, have taken a step out of my own world. For the time being, I'm not enslaved to wanting the world's validation. I am merely a branch from a powerful oak tree, nothing without the foundation that I grew from. I am just here, not longing for the leaves that have fallen off. The, le the wind picks up pace and I see a man sleeping on the cement, wrapped in a tattered coat in place of a blanket, wrapped in longingness for a better life, and I want to help him. Instead, I continue walking. As I turn my back to him, a leaf falls from my branch, but this time I don't know whether to curse the wind for being so ruthless or the leaf for not being strong enough to hold on. How can I avoid being both self-absorbed and not having a sense of self? How important is my sense of self if I'm not living for myself? When is just being here not good enough? As this man and so many others are searching for hope and resources to live one more day, I am here trying to figure out the ambiguous ways that love works, how I do not deserve what I have been given. But sometimes I deserve that different circumstances and stages of life don't demean the fact that it's human nature to feel emotion. I'm learning that I can always be grateful in the midst of joy or anger, simplicity or confusion, hope or devastation. I'm learning how to be vulnerable with myself and how I feel without spiraling into self-pity or getting overwhelmed with the things that will always be messy. Even though leaves grow back from the barren branches after even the harshest of winters, some won't see another spring, and that's just how life is. Unlike a tree, however, I am not stuck in one place. I do not have to be rooted in my own fear, because in the end, that won't do anyone any good. I won't always get the chance for my fallen leaves to grow back. Yeah.